In this video, I will explain half an instrumentation amplifier. Half amp instrumentation. Block diagram of instrumentation system. Block diagram. Block diagram of an instrumentation system. Input stays. Input stays. Hello. Physical quantity to be measured. Physical. Physical quantity to be measured. Physical. Quantity, quantity to be measured. Uh, this one is intermediate stage. Uh, intermediate stage. Uh, okay. This one is output stage. This one is output stage. Input, these are the these are the transmission lines. These are the transmission. Thanks. Input stage uh, is a uh, range of sir plus pre amplifier. Intermediate stage must be an uh, instrumentation amplifier. Instrumentation. Instrumentation and repairs. So output stage is nothing but indicator. Indicator and uh, uh, automatic. Uh, automatic process control. First stage of the instrumentation system is the transducer plus pre amplifier. Transducer converts one form of energy to another form of energy. The input to that transducer plus pre amplifier is physical quantity to be measured. Suppose in case of a, a thermal couple converts heat energy to electrical signal. Next microphone. Microphone in case of microphone converts sound energy into electrical uh, signals in case of uh, strain gauges converts pressure force like uh, mechanical energy into electrical signals the output of the transducer plus pre amplifier is uh, is not enough amplitude to drive the stages sub stages of the instrumentation system that is the reason we need uh, some instrumentation amplifier raise the strength of the signal in between input stage and output uh, stage of that uh, system, we need some in intermediate yeah. stage. That intermediate stage is called as the instrumentation amplifier. An electrical signal is passing through the uh, transmission lines. As the distance increases, uh, these signals are uh, attenuated due to some noise. Noise. If you want to eliminate the such noise signals, we use an instrumentation amplifier. An instrumentation amplifier is an intermediate stage placed in between uh, input stage and output stage of the output stage of the instrumentation system. Coming to, uh, we use some instrumentation amplifier. Inst instrumentation amplifier as intermediate stage. Amplifier as intermediate stage. As intermediate stage. Okay, what are the functions of instrumentation amplifier? Eliminate the common mode signal. Eliminate common mode signal, that means noise signals are eliminated. 
Therefore, uh, CMRR, common mode rejection ratio, is equal to ratio of differential gain to common mode gain. Suppose uh, AC is equal to zero, common mode uh, gain is equal to zero. That means uh, uh, noise signals are eliminated. Both signals are same amplitude and uh, same phase with each other. That means uh, these two are common uh, signals. Therefore, these common signals are applied to instrumentation in amplifier. The gain of that uh, instrumentation uh, amplifier is AC. Therefore, output is equal to zero. Output is equal to zero. AC also zero. Therefore, AD by zero that is equal to common mode rejection ratio of that uh, instrumentation in amplifier is uh, infinity. In, these are the some important. This is the important characteristic of that instrumentation amplifier. Design of design of uh, three op amp three op amp instrumentation amplifier instrumentation amplifier. Here we use uh, three amplifiers. Block diagram here block diagram. This is A1, A2, plus minus, minus plus. Here we use the V1. Here we use the V2, V2. This one is V1. This one is V1. This one is a potentiometer. The current flow from low to high, that is I. This value is R. Then R. This value is R. This one is some feedback resistance. This one is amplifier A1. Uh, amplifier uh, A2. This one is amplifier A1. Yes, sir. This one is A1. Yeah, this one is A2. This one is B2. Here, some resistance RF2, not RF2. Here, we use we use R dash. Here, also, we use R dash. This one is B1. This is the minus plus V3. Here we have some resistance. Here we have some resistance that is. Uh, R1. Here also we use some resistance. This is also R1. R2. Down resistance here. Some resistance here. R2. This is a V0. V2 dash, this one is a V2 dash, this one is V1 dash, V1 dash. This is the basic three of them for instrumentation amplifiers. A1 and the A2 operational amplifiers are in non-inverting of them configurations because A1 non-inverting terminal is connected to V1. A2 non inverting terminal is connected to V2. That is the reason two amplifiers, A1 and A2, are called as the non inverting terminal, non inverting half amp configurations, which are used in a instrumentation amplifier. A3 is the difference amplifier configuration. A3 is a differential half amp configuration. 
the inputs to that uh, difference of uh, for configuration is uh, v2 dash and uh, v1 dash v2 dash and v1 dash the non inverting uh, these two non inverting amplifiers outputs are v1 dash and v2 dash v1 dash and v2 dash suppose uh, the analysis of the analysis of half amp analysis of half amp for difference amplifier difference amplifier see the difference amplifier configuration a3 minus plus this one is a3 this one is r1 here r1 here the R1, this one is output. This one is R2. This one is R2. Ground. This one is V1 dash and V2 dash. V1 dash and V2 dash. By applying so proportion theorem to the circuit, differential amplifier circuit. Find out the output voltage. Suppose uh, case one. In case one, V one dash is present. V one dash is present. V two dash is set. V two dash is equal to zero volts. V two dash is equal to zero volts. Therefore, the modified circuit diagram is like that. Therefore, output at that case. In this case, the output is equal V zero is equal to V zero. V1 dash is present. This is the V1 dash is present. That is uh, R1, R2 plus minus this is connected to ground. This is connected to ground. This one is R1. This is V0. This one is uh, this one is R2. This one is R2. This one is VA. This one is VP. In this diagram, this voltage is equal to zero volts. This voltage is also volts. That is the reason zero volts means V2 is equal to V2. VTI2. V V V D I one V D I one V D I two is equal to zero means V uh, two minus this voltage suppose this voltage is V X is equal to zero therefore V X is equal to V two therefore V X is equal to V two and similarly V D I one is equal to zero it means V one minus this voltage suppose V Y V1 minus V by is equal to zero. V by is equal to V1. V by is equal to V1. V B is equal to according to voltage in general. Voltage across this R2 is V B. V B is equal to R2 into V1 dash by R1 plus R2. The voltage applied between this is zero volts. Therefore, V A is equal to V B. V A is equal to V B. V P is equal to R two into V one dash by R one plus R two. R one plus R two. Apply nodal analysis. Apply nodal analysis at a at point A point or node or node A. It is equal to V A into the the node voltage V A into what are the resistance are connected to that node A R one and R two resistance are connected. That is one by R one plus one by R two minus here resistance node voltage is zero zero by R one here resistance node voltage is V naught zero by R one minus V naught by R zero by R one minus V naught by R two is equal to zero, but V A is equal to V A is equal to R two into V one dash by R one plus R. V A is equal to 
R2 into V1 dash by R2 into V1 dash by R1 plus R2 R1 plus R2 by R1 R2 that is equal V naught by V naught by R2. R1 plus R2 is cancelled. R1 plus R2 is cancelled. R2 R2 is cancelled. Therefore, V naught J2 V1 dash is V01. V01 is equal to R2 by R2 by R1. V1 dash. V1 dash. V1 dash. Okay. This is V1 dash. This is the equation one. This is the equation one. Next one is case two. In the case two of that definition line five, set V1 dash is equal to zero. That V1 dash is equal to V1 dash is, is present. V2 dash is present. V2 dash is applied. Is applied. Therefore, output voltage V0 is equal to V02. The simplified diagram uh, diagram is like that. Minus plus here. R1. One is here now uh, some V1 dash is V2 dash. This one is V2 dash. This one is V2 dash is present. V1 is connected to ground. V1 is connected to ground. This one is R1. Here V1 dash is connected to ground. R1 parallel to R2 is also connected to ground. R1 parallel to R1 parallel to R2 is also connected to ground. The, due to that ground, the current of flow through this R1 parallel to R2 is uh, uh, zero. Therefore, here the voltage is zero. According to this uh, concept, this is a VB. Whenever uh, VB is zero, VA is also zero. This one is R1. This one is uh, R2. Therefore, output voltage V0 is equal to V02. This is a simply non-inverting amplifier configuration. Therefore, V02 is equal to minus uh, R2 by minus R2 by R1 minus R2 by R1 into V2 dash. This is the equation number two. Therefore, output voltage is equal to output voltage of the differential amplifier is equal to V01 plus V02. V01 is equal to R2 by R1 V1 dash. R2 by R1 into V1 dash. V02 is equal to minus R2 by R1 V2 dash. Therefore, common term is R2 by R1 into V1 dash minus V2 dash. You see the output of the differential amplifier. Difference amplifier of the term, instrumentation amplifier. This is the very, very important equation. This is the equation number two. Now, here, uh, this is the diagram. Plus, minus. This one is plus, minus instrumentation amplifier. This one is RF1. This one is V2. This one is V2. Here V2. Here V1. This one is V1. A1. This one is R dash. This is R dash. R, the current flow through this is I. The current flow through this is I. This one is V2 dash. V2 dash. This one is V1 dash. Definition I am prepared here. 
So I need the other one. And then this plus. This one is R2, V0. This one is R1, R2, like. Suppose uh, this is the zero volts. Zero volts, this is the zero volts. VID2 is zero means V2 is equal here. Uh, the voltage at uh, non inverting terminal is same as voltage at inversion terminal. Therefore, V2 is equal to zero. The voltage at uh, non inverting terminal is same as voltage at inverting terminal V1. VID1 is zero. Therefore, here V1, V1, here V2, V2. At this point, uh, the voltages are V2, V2, V1, V1. Here V2 dash and here V1 dash. Therefore, V0 is equal to, this is the third half amp is the difference amplifier. V0 is equal to R2 by R1, V1 dash minus V2 dash. V1 dash minus uh, V2 dash. This is the A1 and A2, this is the instrumentation amplifier. A1 and A2. Suppose V1 in case 1, V1 is equal to V2. Common mode, common mode signal. Common mode signal. Both are, both are signals are the same phase. Both signals are in the same phase and equal magnitude. Both are applied to a1 and uh, A2, half amps. Uh -huh. Here, both signals are, this is the V1 is here V2, here V1. Suppose V1 is equal to V2 means again V1. Both uh, both points are at the same potential V1 and V2. The current flow through the R is zero. And also the current flow through this uh, R1, R dash is also zero. Therefore, V2 dash is equal to V2. V1 dash is equal to V1, V2 dash is equal to V2, and uh, V1 dash is equal to V1. V1 is equal to V2. A common mode uh, signal is applied here. V0 is equal to R2 by R1, V1 dash minus uh, V2 dash. Whenever V1 is equal to V2, therefore V1 is equal to V1 dash, V2 is equal to V2 dash. Therefore output is equal to V0 is equal to R2 by R1. V1 dash is uh, V1 dash is V1. V2 dash is V2. But Common signal means V1 is equal to V2. R2 by R1, V1 minus V1. Therefore, output voltage V0 is equal to R2 by R1 into 0, that is equal to 0 volts. This instrumentation amplifier uh, rejects the common mode signal. Common mode signal means uh, uh, that is a noise signal. Noise signal creates some disturbances on the transmission lines. In the case two, V1 not equal to V2. V1 not equal to V2. Some different signals are applied here. At the in that case, this is the current direction is from uh, lower uh, lower end of the top M to higher higher case here towards uh, A2 from A1 to A2. Here some current is uh, IF1. This one is uh, IP1. This one is I. Here first equation is at that point here uh, some uh, X, here some Y. At X, point at X. This is uh, IF1 plus I plus IP1 is equal to 0. 
IF1 is equal to this voltage is V1. This voltage is V1 due to virtual ground concept. V1 minus V1 dash. V1 minus V1 dash by R dash. Whenever V1 is not equal to V2, the configuration is like that. This one is a V1 plus here plus minus. This one is a R dash potentiometer. This one is I. R F1. R F2. This is V01. 02. Here this is a V2. This is V2. Uh, this is a V1. Here voltage is V1. V0 to V0. Let this note. The current is here. Uh, this is RF2. Here RF. Instead of RF2, we use R dash feedback resistances. This one is R dash. Sorry, R dash. At a node or X, at node X, at a node or X, therefore, this is the current as IP1. This current is IF1. This current is I. Therefore, I plus IP1 plus IF1 is equal to 0. IP1 is equal to 0. I plus IF1 is equal to 0. I is equal to I is equal to V1 minus V2 by V1 minus V2 by R. V1 minus V2 by R. V1 minus V2 by R. IF1 is equal to V1 minus V1 minus V02 is equal to V02 is equal to V2 dash. V01 is equal to V1 dash. V02 is equal to V2 dash. Uh, no need to use V2 dash and uh, here. V2 dash. V1 minus IF1 is equal to V1 minus V1 dash by V1 dash by R dash is equal to 0. No need to calculate V1 dash. Bring this side. V1 dash by R dash is equal to V1 by R dash minus V1 by R plus V2 by R. Therefore, V1 dash is equal to V1 into R dash by R dash minus V1 into R dash by R plus V2 into R dash by R. Therefore, R dash, R dash cancel. Therefore, V1 dash is equal to V1 minus V1 into R dash by R plus V2 into R dash by R. V1 plus R dash by R is equal to V2 minus V1. This is the equation number 4. Coming to this point uh, Y, I is equal to, this is the I current entering into the node. This is the IP2, away from IP2 is the current direction is like that. Therefore, uh, I is equal to, this one is IF2, IF2 plus IB, IB2. But IB2 is equal to 0, therefore I is equal to IF2. I, I is equal to 
n is equal to i b2 plus i f2. i b2 is equal to 0, i e is equal to i f2. i e is equal to i e is equal to b1 minus uh, v2 by r. i e is equal to b1 minus v2 by r. i f2 is equal to i f2 is equal to v2 minus uh, v2 dash by r dash. V2 minus V2 dash by R dash. V2 dash by R dash is equal to V2 by R dash minus V1 by R plus V2 by R. Therefore, V2 dash is equal to V2 R dash by R dash minus V1 R dash by R plus V2 R dash by Therefore, R dash, R dash is cancelled. V2 plus V2. R dash by R, R dash by R. That is V2 minus V1. V2 minus V1. See the equation number 5. Therefore, we do not V0 is equal to R2 by R1, V0, 1, V0, V1 dash, that is V1 dash, V1 dash minus V2 dash. V1 dash is equal to V1 plus R dash by R, V2 minus V1. That is equal to R2 by R1. V1 dash is equal to R2 by R1. R2 by R1. Into. This one is R2 by, not R2 by R1. V1. Plus, this one is V1 plus R dash by R into V2 minus V1. R dash by R into V2 minus V1. Minus V2 dash is minus V2 into R dash by R into V2 minus V2. Minus of minus plus this one is what is here V one minus uh, V two by R V one minus A is equal to this is V one this is V two V one minus V two by R V one minus V one dash if is equal to V1 minus V1 dash by R dash. Therefore, V1 dash by R dash is equal to V1 by R. V1 by R dash minus V1 by R plus V2 by R. Therefore, V1 dash is equal to minus V1 by R dash by R plus V2 by R. V2 into R dash by R, therefore V1 dash is equal to V1 into V1 plus uh, R dash by R, V2 minus V1, V2 minus V1. This is the V1 dash, this is V1 dash. V1 minus V2 by R plus V1 minus V2 dash by R. Therefore, V1 dash is equal to
V1 by V1 by R dash plus V1 by R here. I have to make some mistake. V1 by R dash plus V1 by R minus uh, here minus minus V2 by R. Here plus and uh, minus here some minus sign. Here some plus plus sign and uh, minus sign here. Getting to here. V1 minus V1 minus V2. V1 dash is equal to R dash by R into V1 minus V2 plus V1. Here I2 is equal to V2 minus uh, I2 is equal to is like that. Therefore, R2 pi R1, V1 dash is equal to V1 dash is equal to V1 plus R dash by R into V1 minus V2. V1 plus R dash by R into V1 minus V2. V2 dash is equal to minus V2 dash. V2 dash is equal to minus V2. Here uh, minus R dash by R, V2 minus V1. Therefore, R2 by R2 by R1, V1 minus V2 plus R dash by R, V1 minus V2 plus reverse volta this step, R dash by R, V1 minus V2. Therefore, R2 by R1, V1 minus V2, plus 2, R dash by R into V1 minus R2 by R1, the common term is V1 minus V2, 1 plus 2, R dash by 2, R dash by R. You see the output voltage of the instrumentation input, V0 by V1 minus V2 is equal to R2 by R1, 1 plus 2R dash by R. Here, uh, this is the differential uh, uh, gain of that uh, instrumentation amplifier. This value totally depends on this uh, potentiometer R. Potentiometer. Generally, we use uh, a potentiometer. Some in series with some resistance is used in place of R for uh, better uh, variable gain. This is the instrumentation amplifier analysis. The total AD depends on this R value. R is nothing but a potentiometer variable resistance. Sometimes we use a potentiometer plus some in series with some resistance, some value, a resistance value. By using this value, you have to calculate AD value. With this, uh, the analysis of the instrumentation amplifier is completed.